Professor Manuela. I wish you to know that I have heard ever so much about your talents. <laughs> Whatever are you talking about, Flame? Singing! Why, you are... you are wonderfully skilled at it, are you not? Why, I have even overheard people saying your voice is akin to the singing of a goddess. It makes me happy to hear. But who told you that? Oh, the students are always speaking of it. Which got me to thinking, I may be the only person in all of the Academy who's never heard your beautiful voice in song. So, I was wondering, Manuela, might you sing a little something for me? Your request is touching, but I can't perform on such short notice. My voice is an instrument and requires proper gentle care. However, the stories are true. I was once the leader of the Middle Franc troop, but that was a long time ago. Middle Franc? Um, what do those words mean precisely? You've never heard of the Middle Franc troop? It's the single most popular opera company in the Imperial capital. I used to sing on stage with them. I was the star, in fact. Oh, wow. In all of Enbar? They must not have been around when I was living there. You used to live in Enbar? Indeed. Although I was quite a bit younger at the time. It is where I was born, as a matter of fact. Oh, well, you must have been too young to hear about us. Ah, uh, yes, <laughs> that could be. And what precisely is the function of an opera troupe? You don't know what an opera troupe is? Well, it's a group of performers like myself who act out stories on stage in front of a big audience. Stories with lots of singing. Oh, I, I understand now. I certainly have experience in the fine art of storytelling. There is often singing as a part of story time for the children at the monastery. That is darling, Flame. But I'm not sure it's quite the same thing as an opera. You see, operas are performed in grand theaters with orchestral accompaniment. Everyone attending wears their finest. It is a very special occasion. Theaters, they're called? You mean to say that there are buildings exclusively used for telling stories? You've never even heard of a theater? You're an intelligent girl, Flame, and the world is full of wonders. You have a lot left to discover. Hello, Manuela. I was just wondering, what was it like back when you were involved with that opera troupe? Your life must have been quite different from how it is here, I imagine. My, how bold to ask an adult about their private life. I'll humor you, though. A diva's life is only glamorous while she's on stage. The rest of her time is consumed by grueling training. Just days and days of practicing, beginning at sunrise, with barely a moment to rest from one performance to the next. Then, once the performances begin, you're on stage for three shows a day. Absolutely exhausting. Is that anything like you imagined? It sounds like a world all its own. Thank you. I find the topic fascinating. What sort of roles did you tend to be cast in? As the lead performer, did you play the part of a princess much? Oh, I can only imagine how illustrious that would be. Yes, I was a princess once or twice. And it was quite something, let me tell you. All those royal jewels and flowing gowns. And they didn't just give me the pretty clothes to wear because I was beautiful, you know. I had to fight and claw my way into every role. But once I was there on stage, singing my solo, and all eyes were on me, it was worth it. I was rewarded for every one of my countless hours of practice. And the cheers when I finished a song, the applause, Oh, I can't properly explain it, but I can tell you, it's an experience I will cherish until the day I die. Wondrous! It all sounds so very glamorous. 
Despite how rigorous a schedule you kept, it sounds like the hard work was worth those fleeting moments on stage. Mine has always been a quiet life. It is hard not to feel a twinge of envy hearing such stories from you. There's a lot to be said for the quiet life. It was never for me, of course. Still, I hear it's a pretty good deal for a lot of other folks. The thing is, Flame, well, you always have to remind yourself that if a place shines brighter than anywhere else, its shadows will be darker too. What? What do you mean? <laughs> nothing. Nothing. It's a thing I hope you never come to understand. You know what? The next time you visit, I'll tell you all about the time I played a beautiful princess and about the handsome prince she fell in love with. Oh, please! I would love to hear all about it! Manuela, do you recall what you told me? You mentioned that if a place shines brighter than anywhere else, then its shadows will be darker too. You sound so worried. That was nothing, dear. Call it a joke. It most certainly did not sound like a joke. Can you please elaborate? Of course, I love hearing about your glamorous past performing on stage. But all that glamour doesn't account for the shadows you spoke of. Well, I suppose I could share a little. Here's the thing about the opera. Talent isn't enough to earn you a position in a glamorous show. You need money, connections, and, failing those, the stomach to commit a spot of violence. I spent many nights buttering up nobles in power. No matter how humiliating the task, I'd do it because I wanted to be a star. I hope that kind of talk isn't too shocking for a sweet girl like yourself. Are you disillusioned with me now that you know my sordid past? Not at all. Understanding you more deeply, I can see how much strength has been required of you all this time. Flane. I am well aware that survival and striving for dreams sometimes means doing things we would not normally do. Perhaps because you have been so strong, lived with such conviction. Perhaps that is why your songs have touched so many people's hearts. Oh, you sound very wise all of a sudden. Thank you, Flane. I would like to resend my original request of you. Your request to hear one of my songs? Indeed. Instead, I have a different request. I would like to see you perform an opera on stage. I don't know about that. It's been a long time since I stood on stage. I imagine you have experienced much since you left the opera company. It follows, then, that you have developed new insights, charm, and wisdom to share. <laughs> yes, I probably could play a tragic role even better now than I could back then. But it's hardly the time for operas. We need to put an end to this war first. Agreed. Let us make the curtain fall on this war as soon as possible. Maybe then we can raise the curtain on a brand new performance. That'd be something, wouldn't it? <laughs> that is exactly what I yearn for.